Well, I think we have to divide it into possibly pre-midterm elections and post-midterm elections, at least for emerging markets and um, where I focus on the RMB. And um, I think pre-midterm, um, there is still, set, still this sense that, you know, this is the FOMC, the Fed hike coming. And um, while it might be a dovish hike, but um, should it surprise in terms of its language on the upside, then we may see some more legs of the uh, dollar actually recovering. And um, going into the midterm elections as well, you know, this. U.S.-China trade war is still brewing and it's, it appears that it has escalated rather than de-escalated. So um, there is a sense as well that, you know, um, China will keep its currency stable, at least in the near term, and um, potentially deploy a weaker currency profile, but next year after the midterm elections. So oh. I think... Okay, Christy, so this is the thing that kind of made my eye pop. Potentially said, uh, engineering a weaker CNY, you think, is still a PBOC policy option. I mean, it's one of the two nuclear options, right, along with selling uh, or slowing down buying of uh, U.S. Treasuries. Uh, Absolutely. Is the risk increasing that they could that finger could get closer to the button? Well, um, absolutely. I think, you know, the risk, uh, and in our view, we have, I think we are, we are more concerned that this risk is actually higher next year uh, rather than this year. And uh, the reason is that, you know, uh, we're definitely seeing this trade war playing out for the longer term. And it's not likely to, um, you know, in our view, um, extend. And, and, and that in itself, I think, allows the PBOC to deploy this policy choice later.